Hi, it's Gia, and today we're going to be diving into the world of surrealism with Skull Panda's Image of Reality series. I'll be explaining exactly what surrealism is and how it relates to every figure. I also have some extra little goodies to show you guys after the unboxing. While we get started, I want to explain what surrealism is to you guys. Surrealism, it's a type of art that shows strange and dreamlike things that don't usually happen in real life. It encourages us to use our imagination to see the world in a different way. You'll see this in practice with this series, because this series is all about presenting you with things that look like it could come out of a dream, but that make a lot of sense if you really think about it. And the first figure that we're going to start out with is the Paradox. Oh, this one's actually a really good one to start out with. Why is it called the Paradox? This figure is all about decisions and choices that you make in your life. The Jack in the Box pops out when a crank is turned, but it only pops out if you turn the crank. It's an element of surprise brought about by your own actions. And this Jack in the Box the arms point in every which way. You have to make a choice on where it points, and you might be surprised by the outcome. Number two out of 12, the paradox. On the back, it says, your decisions will determine your path. The hands point in every direction, implying that there's no absolute right or wrong in moving backwards or forwards. Our choices and our decisions will always guide us to unexpected outcomes. American psychologist Barry Schwartz, he coined the term the paradox of choice back in 2004. He stipulated that human beings are actually happier the fewer choices that we have in life. It's pretty interesting. On to our second figure, the mermaid. This one's actually one of my favorites. In surrealism, Mermaids are often a symbol of escapism and fantasy because they're a creation of our own imaginations. But this mermaid's trapped, and she's seemingly done that to herself. Our imagination can give us freedom, but it can also serve to create a sort of self-made prison. Number six out of 12, the constraint. The mermaid weaves thoughts into a net tirelessly toiling away by the shore, never lifting her gaze. Skull pandas themselves were born out of this idea of surrealism, but I think that this series shows that more than ever. Ooh, the sore! So pretty. I love it. Now, this figure is kind of the exact opposite of the mermaid. While the mermaid is in a prison of its own imagination, the sore, this figure, this one transcends through the use of her imagination. Let me grab the stand really quickly. We'll put it together like this. I do want to point out with this figure, the stand is actually pretty finicky in that when you place the figure on the stand, the little skull panda can actually fall off pretty easily, which that's kind of ironic if you think about it. But we're not going to focus on her propensity of falling. We're just going to focus on this soaring figure whose head is a cage. The birds are flying about and through that, she's able to start soaring, lifting herself through her imagination. Number seven out of 12, the soar. Oh, the back of this card just says what I just said. So there you go. I've always liked surrealism and dreams, so this entire series is like my bread and butter. The Merchant, this is a good one. So the body, it's the phases of the moon that can spin. And then we have this rocket shaped hat that hides the sun, the stars, and the moon. This is symbolism for collective subconsciousness. And the merchant is tapping in on that to sell you something. The Merchant is a critique on consumerism. Number 11 out of 12, The Merchant. Imagine a merchant selling time and calculating its value. The artist behind Skull Panda has said that Skull Pandas dwell in the darkness of empty, endless space, 
presenting themselves as a wide openness, the ones that have no bounds. This figure, the imagination, pretty much encapsulates that completely. She's sleeping, and she's so cute. We're gonna open up her little stand, which is this blue puddle of eyeballs. And all together, this is imagining stuff while you're dreaming, which is surrealism in a cute way. On the back, it says, dreams of deep slumber lift skull panda above fantasy. Box number six, you guys, halfway there. Oh, the philosophy. This one is one of my favorites. She's an owl on a stool reading a book. And she's extra eyeballs on the side. Let's get her goodies. A little stand, a little owl mask. The owl mask is magnetic. So we're going to put the mask on. Boop. I love her. I don't have that much to say about her because I feel like this one's, you know, one of the more self-explanatory ones. But gosh, she's gorgeous. On the back, it says the Owl of Minerva reflects on the day's happenings. And Minerva is just the goddess of wisdom. So she's a goddess. Kind of like Athena. Minerva is like the Roman equivalent of Athena. And our next surreal daydream is going to be... Anti-gravity. Her head's a balloon and her dress is going upwards. The baubles on the side of her head opposites as is her eyes the neat thing about this is that her dress almost looks like a flower and almost looks like a black hole anti-gravity doesn't exist in our universe but some scientists do think that maybe it's in a black hole the balloon is slowly drifting towards the ground but the figure's dress remains unaffected by the pull of gravity eager to break out into a dance making skull panda hesitant and confused Our eighth figure seems really small and in plastic. And it's the time lapse. This is the third in my top three. This features a clock for the skull panda's face. And on the back, clock is ticking, skull panda. And it comes with a little key. Put that right in the back and it turns what this does is it changes the eyes on the face effectively demonstrating time passing as one remains stationary and in movement the back of the card the pace of time is not constant it speeds up as the figure is about to close its eyes the time lapse one more row left, and my hope in finding the hidden is slowly starting to dwindle. But, let's see what this is. The pivot! This is a really fun one. It features the skull panda on a swing, with the stand, and a mask. As I try to put it in the wrong hole, there it is. There you go. I figured it out. And it swings on the stand. It can go around. As we put the mask on her, she becomes a cloud, swinging about on her stand in the realm of imagination and her thoughts and dreams. Pivoting in thought. And just a close up of her face because I think it's gorgeous and beautiful and deserves attention. The pivot. On the back, the mask allows Skull Panda to morph into a cloud. The base symbolizes a once elusive daydream the pivot three more boxes to go and i'm missing the disguise and the duality twins we'll see which one misses the disguise this face is on a hinge and it opens up to reveal a rabbit who's cute and lovely and the disguise is almost more grotesque in the little baggies a little sword 
I think it's a sword. Might be a cane, but I think it's a sword. And a little, I don't know what to call this, but it goes in the hat. It's a cross. He is a gentleman. Look at his little face. And then the disguise is kind of creepy. He shouldn't feel the need to wear that disguise, but he does. Number four out of 12. On the back, the mask has a hinge design, revealing a genuine gentleman's face underneath. Underestimated and misunderstood by the human world, Skullpanda is forced to disguise itself as a genuine gentleman to gain approval. Last two. And they seem like they're similar weights. So I think we're looking at the twins. Let's open up the first. And this is Duality White. She comes in a plastic case. Her design is pretty simple. One eye open. And her hat is of a swan. The stripes are cool. And she's sitting on a bench. These two are pretty self-explanatory. I personally never really like when there's a duo in a series that obviously are meant to go together. So here's the first and we'll move on to the last. The hidden seems pretty tall and pretty wide. So this one is definitely gonna be Duality Black. Oh, she came with styrofoam. The other one didn't come with styrofoam. Are they both supposed to? Well, her other eye is open and the black swan of her hat is black. Same cool stripes. You'll see here, the cards pretty much say the same thing. The duality of the black and white twins being opposite, but connecting by magnetic earpieces. And they click if you put them in the right spot. They're cute. There we go. Looking good, skull pandas. And with these two sitting pretty, this completes my case of the image of reality. Did some slight rearranging and we're gonna move on to the goodies. I have three badges of the skull panda image of reality series. All of the options are the same characters that we just went through. And I'm hoping for the philosophy. One of them's gotta be. I tried to pick like really big, tall ones. So we'll see how this works out for me. Number one badge is, our first badge is the disguise. With the color of burgundy on the jacket and the frame, the back is actually a mirror. And then on the back of the badge, there is that really thick magnet which is kind of hard to get off and then immediately wants to get back on just like that. These guys come with little cards too, which I think is really cute that they added that in and the back of the card, quite simple. Our second badge. Let's go philosophy. Hopefully we got the pivot. Okay, the beautiful figure and it's a beautiful badge. And the back, it's not a mirror, it's see-through. Same really thick and strong magnet. Boop. The pivot. Last one. Please be the philosophy. Boop. This one doesn't want to go all the way. Because it's the merchant. Pretty. I didn't need the badge anyways because I got the keychain. They had two available, one of the soaring figure and one of the philosophy, but the philosophy is my favorite, so I kind of had to get the keychain. And it's pretty. I'll show you in just one second. There we go. We have a little coin, a skull panda with the little owl mask. And this also says skull panda, purple, 
amazing. And the little clip. The back is gold. And the mask, it goes up and down. It's just a sliding mechanism. And she is gorgeous. And I love it. And our Skull Panda haul wouldn't be complete without the figurine, the glimpse. Now, they did a little vignette or story about this figurine where the Skull Panda was off to the afterlife, the gates of heaven maybe, and then the Skull Panda happens to see a loved one. And instead of going into the gates, the Skull Panda rushes to her loved one and clings to them. And this is what the figurine is showcasing here. One eye open, holding on to the loved one. Perfectly just released for Valentine's Day, but in a very Skull Panda fashion. And the gradient on the back, the burgundy to the white, I think is just beautiful. The whole figure is, but that in particular. And then it comes with a rose, which is magnetic and goes up on the eye. Oh, wait. Uh, let me... Yep, there. Just like that. The glimpse. And with that, we've made it to the end. Let me know which ones were your favorites. What did you think of the collection? What feelings and interpretations you had of the figures? If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like, a comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And until I see you next time, take care of yourselves.